Hey there, Mike Chinati here, and I've got to share something that I'm like super stoked with. Thank you, Francesca. She's a colleague of mine here at Microsoft, and she shared this, and it blew me away, and I'm now using it. So if you are excited about generative AI and its ability to help you with as a tool to, you know, helping you with drafting content, emails, etc., you can grab the Microsoft Edge Developer Edition and it will help you with all that. So let me show you what she showed. So first of all, this is the dev edition of the browser. I'm going to show you how to get this set up on your uh, your PC, but also then we're going to do an example of using it. So you can see here when I mouse over Discover, I have the ability to right away start chatting and asking questions of AI. Um, I can come in here under Compose and I can uh, have it help me write a paragraph, an email, a blog post, or ideas, and there's a bunch of options. We'll take a look at those in a bit. But to get this set up, you need to first of all take and open. Let's go and close this, and we're here in the Bing version. So in regular, excuse me, in uh, Edge, in the Edge browser, go ahead and open up the ellipses and go to Settings. In settings, come over here to the left and select learn more. And you will see you can download three different versions. So you'll go ahead, you'll click download, you'll select accept and download. It's going to go ahead and download that. I'm going to close that. And then once you've done so, you can go ahead and run it. And when you run it, you're then going to have this version available you can have both versions running on your computer to use. Now, what does this look like? So I'm going to actually grab what I had posted earlier. Control C. And we're going to mouse over our little bit here. You can click or mouse over. And I'm going to type in the question I have. What are use cases for Microsoft Viva Connections and how can it be customized? And let's go full screen so we see the whole there we go, get a better view here. And you can see that uh, right in here, I've added my question. I can pick a tone, professional, casual, enthusiastic, informational, funny, a format, paragraph, an email, a blog post, which is what I've selected, or ideas, and then the length, short, medium, long. When you're ready, select Generate Draft. It's now gonna start cranking through. You can see here it says preview and it looks like a little magic wand there. There we go. It's now it's starting to go. It posts my question. Now it's addressing it and it's writing a full blog post, including all the ideas for usage of um, the Microsoft Viva Connections home and customization. So use cases, customizing it. And then at the very end, I believe it will place like it did previously a hyperlink to get more information. So here we go. It's grabbing all that. And just about done. You can find that grabbing it once you, it tells you setting it up. Beautiful. Still going. <laughs> Please visit or contact us at, and it gives a place to put that. And once I'm done, I can, I can mouse over the little two documents here and I can click copy and then I can paste it right into my blog post or in my case in a word doc where I'll review and edit and update because it is a tool right we don't want it to do everything and just rely on it we want to make sure everything in fact uh, is done well with that so you know I can go in um, we already generated a draft there maybe I want to do let's say ideas if I haven't done that let's click generate draft of that um i don't know what it's going to do here i haven't done this one the other one i did previous uh but it's thinking it's thinking it's thinking oh here we go and it's starting to go some of the use cases beautiful so it's it's cranking through and doing something very similar around ideas of course you can do an email you can generate a paragraph you can have it longer than I had. You can also adjust the tone and uh, let me click stop. Let's try just for the heck of it. We'll try funny 
and blog post and we'll say long and generate a draft <laughs> that is, we have no idea what this is going to do but you get the idea so again while that's starting to crank i'm going to come on over here remember to get to this simply select set it you know the ellipses in your edge browser settings go over here to the left at the bottom select about edge then here microsoft edge insider select learn more pick the dev channel now they do have other versions for other uh, operating systems that you can select and they have it in both beta dev and canary i chose dev and you should too so with that one more time flicking over here it's still cranking wow go 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 <laughs> conclusion as you can see so i have no idea how funny it could be but if you're like me you probably have a hard time keeping up with everything that's going on in your organization you know things like important news announcements events policies projects teams etc it's a lot to take in but don't worry there's a solution for that microsoft viva connections home so it's kind of an informal voice and adding a little bit of humor with it so that's it try it out you can't i mean this is just so cool this could be a great tool for helping you with research and finding out stuff that you need and putting together content again it's a tool take it then and edit and use again francesca thank you so much and the rest of you get out there bing generative ai in microsoft edge Woo! <laughs> i feel like like yelling jumping up and down have a great one. Take care as always. Ciao.